Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, yes, things haven't particularly moved on far since my last clip. Um, kiln shed's absolutely freezing, so I'm trying to save a little bit of gas. <coughs> um, so I'm just waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit. If it ever does, <laughs> yeah, before I get these fired. Um, what else have I been up to, folks? Oh, yes, as I had some reasonably good luck with these garlic keepers unglazed. I bought myself some terracotta and I've made a few of the old style garlic keepers, so no glazing involved, which suits me fine. <laughs> uh, salt pigs, just small ones, a few of those. Um, still messing about with a few ideas down here and some slightly larger salt pigs that I'm just going to finish off <clears throat> I'll try and get the camera set up My wheel head doesn't start rotating. <laughs> yeah, um, I already threw two of these that <laughs> got destroyed. Um, so I threw these yesterday, and these have been under wraps for about three days now, which I threw with the original ones. So they're, they're a bit stiffer. I'm stuck on anyway. I'm also waiting for some cones to arrive that I ordered a fortnight ago. Um, I was told by my supplier that they got lost in the post and they'd send some more out. But it uh, turns out that they're out of stock. Mold this to the to the shape. Be uh, fun. I if I should take that higher, <laughs> maybe lock the handle a bit. I think that's more or less how they are. They always strike me as a waste of space, but I've looked at a lot of images of them. Doesn't look far wrong. enough for the hand. Also gonna do a bit more naked raku when the weather warms up. I was looking back through some of my clips and I saw the one of me peeling the slip off and thought how nice and unique it was. Why did I start the cut there? <laughs> so I'm gonna see if any interest in, in those? I also think that raccoon is a lot easier when you've got help. Fortunately, I seem to be on my own a bit at the moment, so whether I can get somebody involved, I'll have to wait and see. 
you know, it's a bit of a pain opening the kiln door and then putting your pot into reduction. Um, closing your kiln door to keep the heat in. <laughs> Need to score this. I don't think so. <laughs> Talking to myself, folks. <laughs> So I've been up to, I found a glaze for uh, ash glaze for oxidised firings. So that's another thing I'm looking forward to, to trying out. I've never really seen one predominantly for, for an oxidised firing. Not a complicated recipe. Just want to blend these two together now. My big hands in, so that's one. Ooh, where are we, folks? <laughs> Not the nicest looking things, I don't think. I'm just wondering whether to crimp around there. Get a better seal, I think I will. Use my finger or a tool. I suppose my finger is a tool. <laughs> Let's try this. Little friend. <laughs> This other one. Give a brush on this and tidy it up a little bit. It's 
nice throwing this terracotta <laughs> even though it is messy yeah, these are just little storage jars that I'm playing about with on their sides I was trying to figure a, a good way out of um, of getting them to sit like this my first one, my first attempt I can't find now anyway, I patted it down and obviously it buckled out here, bellied out um, so I didn't like that, so the next one what I did, I think it was this one, is I cut a half moon out like that and then just pressed it down and that got rid of this bellying out and then I just put a bead of clay on the inside to help seal it and I, I think that's a bit nicer although once it's on your worktop and pushed back against the wall you're not going to really see um, so yeah this firing next and then when my glaze my cones arrive and hopefully um, a new thermo couple that I'm having a go with that I will be having a go with folks um, when that arrives it's a different type it's a type a K type and my the one I use is a, a an R type so I'm just going to try and wire it into that one and see what happens it was only cheap but it's rated to 1300 centigrade and it's in a ceramic um, sheath so it's one that's supposed to be left in the kiln whereas the one that I use at the moment isn't actually supposed to be left in the kiln I always forget to take it out <laughs> um, so they don't tend to last long <laughs> with me okay everybody take care thanks for watching bye for now